Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. I'm your host, Adam. If you are looking for hair system tips, advice, tutorials, and of course, my own personal insights, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna to be talking about whether you can tape a hairline. I've got some tape here. This is Ultra Hold. These are the Ultra Hold strips. I also have some lace frontal tape. Walker do a version of this. Sunshine do a version of this. These are the two tapes which I generally use to tape up a hair system, especially the hairline. Why these two? Because over the years I've had experience with so many different tapes which don't look realistic, which don't look subtle. These two do and I'm going to show you why I've got a hair system here. It's an old one, it's an ultra thin skin. I, den I generally don't tape ultra thin skins, I usually glue them, but it's an old one and it can show you actually how realistic the hairline can look. It can look even more realistic on a lace base as well. So let's get this tape cut and we'll get it attached to the system. As I mentioned earlier, I do tend to usually use glue on a poly, unless it's like a thicker one. For instance, this one is a thicker one, but I've decided to use glue on it this time. Last time I used tape on it, it really doesn't matter, but in my opinion, both can look pretty subtle as long as you're using the right tape glue or this stuff so let's make sure that we have it sort of cut so I cut the corners off each edge just to help with the sort of almost like semi-circular nature of the front of the hairline so now I'm going to attempt to attach this and hopefully get it all on camera so I can show you how it looks so also make sure that your hands are dry because otherwise, if they're all slippery from like C22, it might not stick as well. So I'm just taking that off and I'm just gonna attach it. So as you can see, this is the base. So I'm just gonna attach it to the base. I'm gonna have to do it this way, unfortunately, because otherwise I can't see where I'm putting it. So let's just get it round part of the border here where the base meets the edge of the hair system. So as you can see, it's just there. And I'm gonna pull these back. So as you can see, it actually blends in really quite well. Blends in pretty well with the tape. Let's do a little test. We're gonna put this on my hand and this is gonna really hurt. Brace yourself, Ad. So, if we connect that there and we press it down. And that's literally what it will look like. So obviously it's not perfect because it's a poly. If it was a lace, it would, it would genuinely look more subtle. That's kind of what it looks like. That's kind of what it looks like when you do a tape. With a glue, it's pretty much the same on this kind of poly because with the poly, the knots aren't bleached to the bottom, so it doesn't look as if it's coming out of your actual scalp. Ow, 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 ow. Had a nice waxing session on my hand there. So that's kind of what it looks like. And in my experience, in my experience, tape is easier to apply than glue. It's easier to remove than glue. And to be perfectly honest, with the tapes available now, you get a similar uh, you get a similar result in terms of what it looks like on the hairline. So even if I use glue with this, it would look similar. The knots aren't bleached. It's not a lace. It's a poly. So yeah, that's why personally with polys, if it's an ultra thin skin, I'll use glue. Um, but if it's not that, I'll use tape, I'll use tape with lace. Because these tapes are subtle, they, they have a dull finish. And the only two I do recommend if you want to have your hair up is this one. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the Walker Lace Frontal Tape. I know it's called Lace Frontal, but it works really well with Poly as well, just as well. And then the Ultra Hold Strips are really good as well. They're much easier to apply. The great thing about strips as well is that once you've applied them, you can leave a little gap between them where sort of sweat and all of that other kind of stuff can sort of drain down so it's not stuck underneath your poly. 
You could also use tape, they do a tape version of this, so it's definitely worth considering. And overall, in summary, yes, I would recommend using tape on a hairline, but I would only recommend using these two different types of tape. They will be in the description box below, so do feel free to check them out. Now, I hope you found that video helpful, guys. If you would like some one-to-one -one tuition on how to do this, on how to tape a system or anything like that, you can book direct to see me for half an hour, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be able to walk you through step-by-step -step what to do as and when. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon.